Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate you tuning in to another one of my analog photography videos. And boy is this a fun one today. Not only because of the film role that I will be talking about, but because I got to shoot it in the infamous and psychedelic city of Blackpool, UK. Which is where the party really happens. If you know, you know. Pleasure to spend some time in England with my friend Anthony from the Focal Matter channel, which I will link in the description below in case you're not subscribed to him yet. He makes great videos about film photography and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy his content. Now, the film stock I tried out while there is the Flickfilm Electro 100, and my lab is a little backed up during these summer weeks, and this specific film roll was one that I was just itching to get developed. Now my photos have finally arrived, and I just can't wait to talk about this film. I must say, Blackpool is quite an intense place, so my photos didn't come out as great as I had pictured in my mind. Because I guess I caught some Blackpool fever, and I just started snapping without much rhyme or reason. I missed some great shots, as you do, and although some did come out great, others really do show how much I lost my composure and just pretended that composition doesn't exist. But I will be showing them all to you throughout this video because, if nothing else, they will at least be able to demonstrate the wonderful features of the Electro 100 film stock. So Flick Film is a Canadian company based out of Alberta, and just reading about it I felt really great about grabbing this film role because they feel strongly about ecology and they care about respecting the environment with their products and their packaging. The role I grabbed, as I said, was the Electro 100, which is a color negative 35mm film with an ISO of 100 and it's daylight balanced. I actually bought this roll when I was traveling to the Czech Republic and I'm glad I did because it's quite hard to come across here in Paris. In preparation of shooting this roll, I actually emailed Flick Film for some tips and some information about this film stock. So huge shout out to Dave from Flick Film who has kindly answered my email and given me some great information about this roll. So as Dave explains, Electro 100 is a respooled Kodak Aerocolor 4. It is an industrial grade film used for mapping and at one time was a surveillance film suitable for spy planes. It is a tea grain film, so it has a really fine grain. Of course, the colors are also very accurate since it wouldn't be suitable for agricultural spying if the colors were off. Dave further says that the film loves full light, so feel free to shoot it in the middle of the day, but it is also UV sensitive, so it's also good for twilight shots. So with this information, I was glad that I chose this film for the Blackpool outing. Sure, our activities were probably the furthest thing from agricultural spying, but we got a glorious sunny day and just an overload of people and colors to really test the film's features. Plus, apparently, Anthony really thrives in Blackpool. For most of the day, we zoomed around the Blackpool seafront and encountered many sunburned people and families on vacation and just people living their best lives. Personally, we didn't go on any rides because we were there for business, but we definitely did indulge in some of the vices Blackpool had to offer. So what you will find with this film is that it is very sharp and thanks to its features also allows for high resolution scanning. It also makes it possible to zoom in quite a lot without losing any clarity. This shot for example was rubbish, but look how much you can zoom in while retaining great detail. 
It is a given that Kodak Aerocolor has a really good ability to reproduce the most minute details due to its original high altitude uses. This goes hand in hand with the really fine grain, which is still slightly present but really carries a lot of information within it. The film color rendition is absolutely top notch. I noticed that in some cases it was slightly warm and sometimes leaned slightly towards magenta based on your lighting conditions in the moment as you can notice in this photograph, for example. But in different photographs, the colors were completely on point. And you can get rid of your pinkish hues in editing afterwards. In some cases, I enjoyed the hues and so I just let them be. Like in this one where I just introduced myself into some stranger's family picture. The film has a very wide dynamic range and deals with contrasts really well. It also has a wide exposure latitude, which is backed up by its use in geological, pollution, archaeological, crop and forestry studies, traffic control, city planning and remote sensing as per the Kodak Aerocolor technical brochure. For all of these situations, the film really has to allow for a versatile and accurate image capture. So you really should be able to count on a very high performance with this film stock. Now mind you, the film has an ISO of 100. So it is quite low and I compensated for this with my shutter speed. But this led to some of my pictures coming out a little blurry. Like this one, or this one, which particularly pained me. Towards the end of the day, when the sun got a little lower and the fun got just a little too much for us to handle, we ventured more into the city center. Despite the lower light, the film performed exceptionally well. The colors were just as vibrant and the images were just as sharp. As you can see in this picture of an abandoned ice cream cone, which really accurately represented our energy levels at this point, the colors still pop and the image is still very clear. The Electro 100 is supposed to be very light sensitive, as aerial film should be, and it definitely delivers on this promise. In this shot, the sun was already starting to set, and you can still see the great colors and sharpness and contrasts. And it still handles the mixed light surprisingly well. At one point in the evening, we also came across this very characteristic building, which I definitely could have shot better, but you can still appreciate how well the film handles shadows and its wide dynamic range. Like I said, I was a little overexcited on this trip and I went through my roll just a little too quickly, and that despite the 36 exposures. So I didn't have any left for those twilight pictures that Dave recommended in his email. But I was really pleased with the film's performance and so I will be getting a new batch just to test those out a little. Now some more technical details for you film nerds out there. The Electra and the Kodak Aerocolor have an anti-highlation layer undercoat and dyed gel backing, which enhances the film film's performance and just your overall quality. And the emulsion is also abrasion resistant for a better overall durability and to protect your photos in the processing stage. So besides being a complete fever dream of a city, Blackpool was actually a pretty good place to take some street shots, unless you panic like I did. There were just so many people and so that's why some of my shots came out really overcrowded and a little too chaotic. But there was so much going on in all the different directions and so many interesting people to photograph. And it was a completely different vibe to a city like Paris that I'm used to. And that despite the fact that they try to make me feel as at home as possible with their rendition of the Eiffel Tower. Still, I was a little out of my comfort zone in some situations and not quick enough to pull the trigger. So I keep remembering all of the pictures that I didn't take, most of which are for sure better than the pictures I did take. But it was really nice to switch things up a little bit. Maybe with some more time or a second time around, I would be able to isolate some photo opportunities a little better. But what counts is that I had a lot of fun, even though it was probably not as much fun as these ladies had. So if you want to shoot the Kodak Aerocolor and you do not have access to the flick film version, you can also find it respooled in roles such as Washi X or the Santa Color. I found the Electra to be a cheaper alternative, but that just really depends on where in the world you're located. So let me know if you've been able to shoot any version of the Kodak Aerocolor yourself and how it went for you. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And please go check out Anthony at the Focal Matter channel. Please also go check out Flick Film because besides the Electra 100, they also carry a variety of 
other films, including Cinefilms, which are respooled Kodak Vision 3, much like the Silver Salts film that I made a video on a couple weeks ago. I will link it somewhere here on the screen. These uh, Cinefilms are really, really fun to shoot. So thank you again for watching me ramble until the very end. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have an amazing day and shoot some wonderful pictures. Bye-bye.